Let's make us a cup and saucer. I have an old pattern. Who knows how long? Uh, I, I know it had to bound to be around 2007 that I had made this because there's a date on the back of it. <laughs> okay? So, anyway, we need two of these. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to use blue jean material to give it its uh, stiffness. And we'll use it on the outside and use the black and white on the inside. Okay? So, what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to cut these down. And I probably only need one of these. So, yeah, let's just use one. I think one will probably do the whole job. And I would say, well, yeah, let's use this one for this. And with this one, I'm going to bring it out here. I'm going to lay it across star, my dot. And then I'm going to put this one here. Uh, i got to make sure that it fits. Let's see if I can't get this one even. Let's go this way. Like this. <laughs> I try to get this. And my little circle that I have here. There we go. We got that. So let's take and pin this down. And we'll cut this bad baby out. Our hair out of our way too. And now we get down to the nitty gritty and give her a cut. I have one that I have made before and I don't know what happened to it. It may be in the shed. I may have gave it away. There is no telling what I have done with it. And I don't even remember if I ever made one of these out of this pattern. I had another one, another pattern that was different than this one. But I have this one now. And I found out, like, wow, let's just pull this bad baby out. And let's just give it a once over. And hopefully it'll work. Now, what I want to do, hold on a minute, let me get this cut out, there we go, alright, now what I want to do is I want to take and keep, try to keep me a little strip of this enough to, um, so a, um, we call it eh, a pipe cleaner in it. I probably only need half of one. Let's see if half of one will work. Yes, yeah, so half of one will work. See here, we got plenty of space. So we're going to need one of them to make it two. And when we get to it, I'll show it to you. Now, I need this one. And I need this right here. Yeah. I ain't clean my space up, and I've added to my space. I'm telling you, it's crazy. I just keep on going with it. I'm gonna do some cleaning, but 
not me. Not me. And I just keep on piling, don't I? But that's okay. We'll just keep on going. Alright, let's see if we can't lay that down. I want to try to save part of this for the handle on the thing over there. So, I want to do it like this. Then that way I know I've got it. Uh-oh, that's not going to work. I'd have to cut that one for that. So I will save that for that. And let's go ahead and just chop this one down. Let's do it this way. I'm trying to do it the quickest way. Because I don't know about you, but I'm ready to see this thing done. And I ain't even got started. It will be so pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I have no idea. that over yonder. We'll lay this one out. We'll make the this right here thing we do. The saucer out of this. <laughs> ah! I moved it. They don't want to do that. Well, since I've already screwed that up. Let's turn it around here so we can get to it. And line her back up. need one of them cutting mats. Mine never did work out. It kept on having trouble. So I was like, no, nah, I ain't going to use that. All right. We are going to take this over there and we're going to sew on the outside of it all the way around, leaving it an opening. Okay. So I need to change my thread and then we'll be back. All right. Let's cut these right here off. Let's turn it around. Er. Da -da -da -da. Baby, if it'll go. Do -do -do. I've been wanting to do this for a little while because I thought they were so cute. Last time I made them, <clears throat> I can't remember what what the uh, YouTube channel I had at the time that I'd done them, so I couldn't tell you where to go to. But here we have these. Now, what we want to do is we want to sew all the way around the outside. Now, we want to get this right here, little round thing. We want to put it right in the middle, and we're going to want to draw a circle right here in the middle, and you can't see it, and probably I can't either. Nope, let me find something that, to work with here. Alright, um, that butterfly chalk that I had. It's gone. I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. It's gone. It's the little thing that really makes me mad. All right. So I found a piece of chalk anyway. So I'm going to go around it, and we want to sew that right there, all the way around. So we're going to sew all this right here around. I wish this right here would go more into a roundness. You know that right there may work. Ha ha ha. There we go. Let's see if we can get that side to do the same thing. Scoot it, scoot it. Yeah. 
There we go. I think we got it. All right. So now we're going to sew all the way around. All right. Let's get this right here. Strings off here. Oh. Wrong spot. Yeah, might as well go ahead and cut these strings now. Instead of have to fight with them later. There we go. I think we can handle that. Alright. Now then, what we want to do next is start working on this one. Because this is our saucer. Okay? Alright. So now we're going to take this apart. them over there. Now with this one right here, we want to sew these two together down this way. And let's see, let's do, yeah, let's do this one first. We'll sew it together and we're going to sew this inside of it. So if you want to, you can go like this and pin it down. Now my suggestion is to go slow. Okay? So because it is small and round. And I think they're really cute. And I hope this pattern does work. Because I don't remember if it does or not. Oh. I want that, I want that. There we go. We're going to work on getting this done. Alright, before I go any further, I'm going to sew that down first before I put those on. So we'll be back. Okay, now I got that sewed down. So let's see if we can't continue on after we get rid of these right here. Strings that are in the way. Okay, come on. There we go. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. All right, let's go. Let's go sew this around. All righty. Now we have the middle of the cup done, so that kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. All right, so we're gonna set that over there on that. Now I'm gonna take a piece of this. And I want to cut it. Oh, we're going to give us one and a half inches just so we have enough room to do what we want. Okay. So I'm going to take this one. I think that's too much. Let's cut this down. There we go. Now we're going to be happy with that. So we're going to take this right here and we're going to put it in here like this. Come on, let go. And we're going to roll it or fold it. And we're not going to worry about where it's coming out to be. Ah, come on. Let's get down here. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's see if I can't get it tighter. I'm, I'm kind of looking for a small tightness. Okay? That's what I'm looking for. There we go, we're getting it. We're getting it. Alright, now I want to take and zigzag stitch down this right here where the uh, opening is right here. And I want to try to get it kind of tight because this is going to be our handle. Uh, 
if I can get it tightened a little bit. There we go. That's getting it. All right. Let's go zigzag that down. All righty. Let's see if we can cut some of these right here things off. It doesn't matter if you sew onto the uh, cord or not. It ain't going to make a difference. So you can cut it with the scissors. So we'll find where the end of that is. And I'll cut it. So that way I've got a smaller thing. Alright. So now what we want to do is we want to find them like the middle of it. You want to stitch right here. Okay. Then we're going to turn it. And we're going to want to stitch down here. And make sure that we don't have like this side right here where you can see it. You want it more like this right here. Now you can sew it this way or you can sew it this way so you can put a like a little thing right here at the bottom. You see how that right there works? You can put put it like this right here in your cut for your handle. Okay. So I'm gonna go and stitch this down. Like maybe right about there. Yep, that looks good to me. Alright. Now we can take this right here piece. After we get some of these threads out of the way. And we can just fold it up out of the way. Okay? We can come back and reshape that. And we can scoop this one down like that. See how we did, how I done it? So we can get that out of the way. Alright, so now we're going to take and go over and we're going to sew this down this way. Alrighty. Now, strings again. They haunt me at night. Oh, the string. What would I do without the fright? Okay, so now that we want to start putting this and we want to start putting some pins in it all the way around. Well, it wants to give me two pins at a time. I only want one at a time. Two is too many. All right, I'll be back after I get this right here sewed around. And then we'll work some more on the teacup. All righty, once you get this right here sewed around, you want to turn this one right here, and you want to slide it down in here, like this, pretty sides together, and you want to sew around the outside of it, and you want to leave an opening so that you can turn it around. Okay. I'm not lining up my things here, which I should. It would make it look a whole lot prettier. But keep all that mess going the same direction. <coughs> so far, this right here is turning out pretty good. Pretty good. I think you all going to like this. Alright. Don't forget to leave your opening. Okay. Let's go sew this down. Alrighty. I left a little opening there. And I'm talking about a little tiny opening. So we're going to start pulling all this stuff through. Urgh. 
I'm working out to work at it. Come on. I know you can do it. We're getting it. There we go. There we go. Ooh, we're getting it. We're getting it. All right. I'll stick that one right down inside there. Fold a little hole up. There we go. Alright, now let's go sew this all the way around the rim and try to keep the uh, two colors separated. You really don't want them together. <laughs> That's looking good. That's looking good. All right. We'll be right back. All right. Now we have our little cup and strings. We have plenty of strings. All right. Now, let's work our handle the way we want it. Turn that in. Now, you can... Sew a little piece on this right here at the end if you want. But I'm going to take and I'm going to cut it kind of inward. See what I'm saying? Then that way it gets rid of that. Then we've got that and then we'll fold that up like that. Let's see if I can't get it to turn the way I want to. that probably an ink pen or pencil or something would be better to roll it all right now let's straighten it out now then you have a cuppy cup cup, 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 cup cup and a saucer and we'll turn it over. You can have it that way if you'd like. I like that way better. I think that looks pretty. But we don't want all that chalk on there. Let's see if we can get that chalk off. There we go. So. I think it's pretty. I really do. I think it's pretty. All right, I hope you enjoyed it, and you can use any kind <coughs> of material that you want. <coughs> but I would try to find something stiff or make, make it stiff as you go. And don't leave the threads. They don't look pretty like it does. Alrighty, I've already cut my saucer out, so what we're going to do from here is on this side, right here, we're going to draw our circle right here, if I can. Let me see if I can't find something a little bit better. Draw a circle. There we go. Now we can see this bad baby. Alright. So, <clears throat> there we go. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to turn it in half right here. We're going to make us a mark, make us a mark, and I hope that is about half. Yes, I did a pretty good job. All right, so now I got half and half. Now I'm going to do it again. Like half and half. Now, 
with this from here out this way we want to do a hairline um, a, we, we just want a hairline you understand what I'm saying just a little bit of stitches not very much okay on all four sides so I will be back All right, see here how I got that? That's going to give it a dip in there, like a bowl. Okay? But we're going to kind of like uh, lessen it whenever we put this one on it. I hope. <clears throat> all right. So we're going to sew all the way around, and we're going to leave an opening. Okay? And then we'll come back, and we'll put our little round circle on the other side so we can see it. So let's do that. Alrighty. Let's see, I, I think I've got I messed some up here because the way it looks it don't look like it sewed it. So, but yeah. See, look at that. Okay, but that's good enough. We can use it as a. I, got a, I think I'm gonna tighten up my tension. I think that's my problem. Because this is a thicker thread than what I had earlier. So I probably need to do that. So here what I'm talking about, it did, it went down. So now let's take this one. And we want to sew up our hole here. Let's put some pins in there. So that you can kind of like... And we'll show you something else too. Look at that, that right there didn't come out. Let's see if we can't fix that. There we go. That looks better. Yep. Okay, you're right here. Yeah, I like that. I like that a whole lot better. Okay, and you'll see what we can do about this now. Put this in there. There we go. Now we can sew all the way around that. But let's put us a little, I think I'm going to want to do it down here. And the reason why is, is this red won't show us bad down here on this side. And we want to sew this all the way around right here. Now, I also want to look at this, putting this on it. All the way around it. See here. So when we sew this down, we want to sew this on top of it. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, and I hope, I think, let's see. All right. What the way I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to sew on it, and I'm going to sew all the way around it. Okay. Because I know I've got enough, got too much. And then I'm going to sew this, like this, together, you know, like you would do a quilt, like that. All right, I'll show you when I get not going to work, because see how it's flopping up there? So that is not going to work. So now I have to pick it out, because this is not going to work. So I'll have to uh, take it out. Okay. Now we got that off. Alright, so now let's take and I'd already started going around the opening here so that I'd have it down. But I'm going to finish going around it now. Alrighty, now we got this done. So we have the little cut, uh, 
saucer done. And I think it does give it that little upness to it. And all. I think it looks pretty good. So we can handle that. We just gotta get rid of all these strings that love to accumulate. Yep, okay. We're gonna put that one over there while we work on this one. So now, what we wanna do here is the same identical thing. We're gonna cut everything out. So, pin. Pin it all down. And cut it out. So I will be back after I get this cut out because I ain't no need. And y'all sitting and watching me. Now that we've got these right here done, we're going to want to do them the same way. But I have a twist to this one. I hope if I have my right stuff that I need. We're going to find out. Oh, open up the magic drawer. Yep, this is what I want. I, and this one will have lace in it. So, let's see if we can't find a prettier piece of lace that we can go around it with. See, it's a brownish color. And we'll, this right here I'm going to use for the uh, handle, if I don't lose it. <laughs> okay, here we go with this one right here. You flying? Where you turn, open it up at? Right there it is. There's the pin. Okay, let's put it on the outside. Well, that pin don't want to stick to this. That pin will not stick to this. Watch. <laughs> it does my scissors. Okay. So now I got a pin here. I'm gonna put it in my wonder clips thing okay <clears throat> now we have this right here and we're gonna get to this right here and i say that we don't put it you know gather it i say we take it like this right here and try to Get it to manipulate it to go down right here. And it looks like I'm about an inch down. And we'll pin it down. And, I'll, and I would just sew the top one so we don't have to worry about the bottom one. I think it would look good like that. I think it would work. Alright, let's give this right here a wacky. And we're going to sew it all the way down. And I think that's going to give it a different look. Alright, it's like my tension is not even working at all on this thread. It's a thicker thread than what you would get normally. <clears throat> But I'm going on. It may or may not hold. We're not going to cry over it if it does not. Alright, so I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to go ahead and sew it. Now the middle one, we're just going to put it together too. So I'm going to go ahead and put, oh, i got to put my handle on. Got to work on our handle. So let's work on that too. Now on this one, 
the material right here is your salvage edge. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to put that on the outside so that we don't have no fraying that we would over here on this side. Because it is, it's got a stopper on it, and that's what we want. So let's see if we can't make our handle out of this. And then we'll put it on our thing. We need to put it on this one because this is the one on the outside. Alright, so that is what I'm going to do. Try to make a handle. Alrighty. Yeah, that's right here. Thread is thick. And see here how it's doing? That side looks better. You can see how it's doing. But I'm going to go on with it. I'm not going to let it stop me. Because I'm probably just going to give this thing away anyway. So we're going to make sure that side ends up on the uh, back side so you don't see it. So this is the way I'm thinking about doing this one. I think that's going to be too big. So let's see what we can do about cutting this down. To I think right about there would work just fine. So I'm going to wacky that one off. And I'm going to sew this down right there. And you always want to make sure you got a sewing room, uh, you know, your, your sewing foot room up here, always. So I'm going to go sew this down. All I want to do is just take it and tack it this way and tack it up here out of the way. Okay? Just tack it down is all I'm worried about. All righty. See here, I just took it down this way, right there three times, and right here three times. So that way we've got our handle. Alrighty. So now we want to go and we want to sew these down and this down and then put our things on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that and then we'll be back. Alrighty. Yeah, that's our hair's really loose. So here's the worst over here. But I'm going on with it. Alright. So now I'm going to take and pin this all the way around. This right here done. We're gonna turn it right sides. If I can get my thumb out of lace. See here what a look it gives <clears throat> with the lace on it. Looks pretty good. All right. <clears throat> now we're gonna stick this one down in there like this. Now, we're going to get these two together, the two seams together. Alright. Then we're going to take this one right here and shove it down in the bottom. All the way down in the bottom. <clears throat> and now we're going to take this one and we're going to bend it over. Now you're going and start pinning it down. Like this. Yes. Right here. All the way around. <laughs> Woo! All right, that's enough. I 
A shady. No. No, she's just standing at the door barking. Alright. Now, we want to take this and we want to start pinning it down to it. Around the top. Like that. All the way around. See here what a look it gives. <clears throat> All right. Now then, I was also thinking. I wished I would have took my handle and put it right here in my seam. But, I think it's a little bit too late now. But I think it would work better there. Maybe. The only way to find out is to make another one. And it's according to how long this tape is. If this one here <coughs> ain't long enough, you know, like an hour, then what I'll probably do is cut out everything, get everything together, and I'll, and we'll give it a different try, and, uh, oh, guess what, I had bought, uh, Rick had bought that, a, uh, thing to cut your hair with, from, uh, one of the, uh, yeah. what, roses or something, and <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna try to go back in paid like eight dollars for it and that thing would not cut his hair at all i had to cut his hair and i used these scissors here to cut his hair i mean it was horrible it would not cut nothing all right now we're gonna start doing these now i'm getting these pinned down all the way around. Okay. Uh, ow. Let's get you in there. I'm doing like every other pin. <clears throat> and I'm trying to get this straight down in here too as I'm going. Getting it all lined up. Purdiness. <clears throat> well, let's see if we can't get you to lay down. You're giving me a problem. Put you there. Oh. Alright, that works for me. I already know. I know somebody would love to have these. And that's Marie. Marie, she loves stuff like this. But she just can't do it. She says. I'll say if you put your mind to it. You can do it. But I'll probably end up giving them to her. So. I think she would. She would really enjoy them. Okay. Get down in there. Thank you very much. Ouch, that didn't feel too good. Bullet got up first thing this morning. We took him out there <clears throat> to use the bathroom. Uh oh, I got a bolt there. I am not liking that bulk. Somewhere, something. Alrighty, there's our other little cup. And I think it looks good too. And here's the saucer so I think it looks pretty good now uh, the video cut off on me so I'm not going to be able to make a third one unless I do a separate video if y'all want me to do a separate video on it I will just let me know in the comments 
and I'll do it. All right. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's Marie. I'm going to give her one of the cups she gets to pick from it. So here's the expression on her face when she sees them. Here they are. Oh, I'll be. You made that? Come yes. On. I figured you'd like that one. Lord, these are cute. I like this one. I know. That's what I figured. Yeah, I like that one. Show, show them which one you like. I like this one. This is so cute. I'll put it in one of Wanda's cabinets. Yeah, I figured you'd like that one. Mm -hmm. Matches my pocketbook you made me. <laughs>